So I'm logged into Business Central, and um, what you'll see is that I start on the Role Center page. The Role Center page uh, is my home page where I want to have everything available to me so that I can access it very quickly. I'm currently logged in as a what's called the business manager. There are over 40 role centers uh, out of the box. If I just go up to my settings here, uh, you'll see under my role, I am defined as a business manager. Um, because of my current security, I can come into here and I can change my role center. Uh, most users cannot. Um, but what you'll see is the list of available roles. Uh, everything from a credit and collections manager, sales order processor, manufacturing manager, project manager, purchasing agent, uh, salesperson, sales manager, shipping and receiving, and warehouse worker. So the idea is that for every user, uh, we have a role that will tailor the role center for their specific tasks that they need to do. If I look at the role center specifically, you'll notice I've got drop down options here, which gives me access to additional features and functionality. I've got reports that I can access right from the role center. I can actually initiate new transactions very quickly uh, just by clicking here uh, on the header. And if I scroll down a little bit, you'll see I have this activity section. The activity section defines key performance indicators and cues that show me the activity that's going on within the organization so that I can see how are things going. Um, and what you'll notice right here is I've got a few key performance indicators. Uh, these two have red bars underneath, which indicate to me that these numbers are not good. So maybe I need to investigate why we have uh, 817,000 in past due sales invoices. I can actually click on this and it, what it will do is show me all of the entries that make up that dollar amount. So if I scroll over here, I can see the remaining amount due on invoices. I can click on any column to sort. And I see, wow, I can see very quickly that I've got three or four invoices here uh, that make up just about almost 500, over $500,000 worth of that $800,000 that's past due. So that allows me to quickly know that I need to focus on these four invoices. It's just an example of how these tiles can be used. Down here, we have what we call queues. This shows me the number of transactions that we have ongoing uh, at any point or particular transactions that are that are uh, in process. And these are all drillable as well. If I want to see, we have 14 active sales quotes in the system. If I click on the tile, I can see those 14 quotes. I can click on one of the quotes and drill down into the details to see what specifically are we quoting here. I can see this is for uh, some Austin tables. If I continue scrolling down, you'll see a few more features available for all users. Um, I've got my user tasks here. User tasks are simply that, tasks that I can create and assign to specific users on specific due dates. And then those users can verify that they completed those tasks. Uh, it could be running an aged accounts receivable report at the end of the month. It could be closing my inventory periods to make sure I've frozen my inventory values uh, for a closed period could be posting a journal entry uh, at the end of the month. If I continue scrolling down, you'll see that we have graphical um, data uh, displayed here through data insights and also the Power BI integration. Business Central does come with Power BI fully integrated. If, uh, and, and, and if I click here under select report, you'll see that there are a slew of standard reports available for use with Business Central uh, within here.